Hi everybody, it's Stacy Kildall, and right now I'm going to show you how to take a QuickBooks for Mac and restore it to QuickBooks for Windows. This is basically the same thing as restoring a regular backup file, but I just want to walk you step by step through the process. Um, when you have QuickBooks open, you are going to want to go to File and then what you want to do is choose Restore. And this is an older version of QuickBooks, so um, it's 2006 because that's the version that we used to create the Mac file in. And you have to have the same version in order to use this properly. So what I did was went and found the file that I want to convert. It's located on a flash drive on my computer. And now I need to name the file and select a location. And for our purposes today, I'm just going to put it on our desktop. And then I'm just going to choose Restore. And it'll just take a moment. It's going to ask us, are you, sh this has been, um, you know, it's been successfully restored. Are you sure you want to do this? You want to tell QuickBooks yes, so we actually type in yes and click OK. And it's saying you're about to use QuickBooks using a newer version of QuickBooks and you won't be able to open it again in older versions, so we want to go ahead and say yes. And the reason it does that is it just wants to let you know that you're changing the file. So you won't be able to open it up in the same version that you created it in, which was the Mac version. So it takes a couple moments for it to update all the information. And the larger your file is, probably the longer that this is going to take. This is a pretty small file. So it didn't take very long and it's going to tell us your data has been restored successfully so we can go ahead and say OK. This is asking the third party information and you can see QuickBooks is opening up properly. It's giving us the Learning Center. Um, we're just going to go ahead and say begin using QuickBooks. It's going to give us our alerts and we want to just double check by going to our chart of accounts and verifying that our data is correct. And it is. And that is all there is to converting from a Mac to Windows version. Thank you.